Welcome to Muse. Today I'm going to show you how to start building your first virtual world as an online store using Muse. Let's get started. Over here is our template selector. This is where you get to see all our templates. Today we're going to build a store, so let's use the Gotham Shop template. You're going to scroll over, click Use Gotham Shop, and click Start Building to get started. Let's go. Once you load into your virtual world, click tab to open your builder tools. When you open your builder tools, you can highlight and select things. You can select things by clicking on your mouse. When you click on something, you can also delete it by clicking the delete key. Now let's get started on how to add images and videos. What you're gonna wanna do now is to click tab again and now select an image frame. When you select an image frame, you can click upload media, and now you can upload any images or videos you would like. Muse takes any file format that is as long as it's a JPEG, PNG, or an MP4. Let's try that again. You'll notice here, I'm going to try to upload an image with a transparent background. Unfortunately, right now, Muse does not support any images with a transparent background. If you upload an image with a transparent background, it will just be black. One last time, just to make sure you understand how to upload images and videos. There we go. Now let's show you how to add links inside of Muse. One way to add links inside of Muse is by adding them through our link buttons. All you need to do is select the link button and replace the link with your URL. Depending on your URL, the button's icon may change. As you see here right now, I'm going to add spotify.com. And if I add spotify.com, the link, the icon will change to Spotify. And right now I'm going to add linkedin.com. And what you'll see here is when I add linkedin.com, the LinkedIn icon will change as well. Now I'm going to show you how to update the global settings for the template. What you're going to want to do is select the walls or the floors of the template. This will allow you to select all the global settings and edit them. With this template, you can edit the name on the wall. Now I will show you how to add 3D models. Let's walk over to a 3D model and click on it. As you see here, I don't have any 3D models on hand. Fortunately for Muse, we have a content library. If you click add and go click content library, you can go to another website that we have where you can see all the models that we have available for our content library. You can just click on the download link and now you have the 3D model file. Now all you need to do is go to your downloads and just upload the model. There we go, it was easy as that. What's really cool about our 3D models is that you can also add certain attributes and settings to make it float and spin. Now let's show you how to add content inside of Muse. Click add. And now we're going to add a media frame, an image frame. There we go. Now let's show you how to rotate it. You're just going to want to click rotate and now you can choose which axes you want to rotate it on. In order to um, quickly rotate the object on its 90 degree axes, you're going to want to use shift and greater than or less than sign. As you see here in the settings button, you can look at all of our keyboard shortcuts. Highly recommend reading through all of these shortcuts. It will make building using Muse much quicker. Now let's show you how to move these images or anything really inside of Muse. You're just gonna wanna click on move and then you can click on X, Y, or Z to move that object along that specific axis. If you would like to free move, don't click on X, Y, or Z at all. Just click and drag and you can free move it wherever you would like. Moving along the axes is really useful if you want to precisely align your object, let's say against the wall. Well, now I'm going to add another 3D model right here. I'm just going to use that basketball model. Wow, that's really big. Let's show you how to scale it down. You're just going to want to click on scale and click and drag in and out depending if you want to scale it bigger or smaller. It's really that simple. There we go. The space is coming together. 